Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do a Cajun smoked turkey. We got Thanksgiving just a couple weeks away. Everybody's gonna be firing those smokers up for turkeys. And this recipe is one you're gonna to wanna to try. We're gonna get a spicy seasoning on the outside, but we're gonna soak it for 24 hours in a brine and put a Cajun injection on the inside. You know it's gonna be awesome. Everybody's gotta smoke a turkey for Thanksgiving. Let's get to cooking. So the turkey I'm starting with today weighs about 14 pounds and I bought it froze at the supermarket. Now it's gonna take about five days for this turkey to slow thaw in the refrigerator. So just put it in there and forget about it. When we're ready to brine it, I'm gonna put a couple cups of sugar, a cup of salt, and half a cup of my Cajun seasoning in a small pot and add two quarts of water. We're gonna bring this mixture to a bowl and stir it real good so everything dissolves. Then we're gonna place it over in a gallon pitcher and add our other brine ingredients. I've got lemons, I've got garlic, black pepper, celery, onion, all these things that's gonna give flavor to the brine. We're gonna to top that off with a couple more quarts of water and just let it steep for an hour. It's gonna to come to room temp and then we're gonna be ready to pour it over the turkey. Now to brine this turkey, you could do it in a big pot in the refrigerator, but that's just a catastrophe waiting to happen. I always put it in a big Ziploc bag out in a cooler outdoors so if it spills, the mess is easy to clean up. Just drop the turkey down in the bag and pour that brine right over it. And then add a couple more quarts of water just to make sure we've got enough liquid to really soak that turkey. And you want the turkey completely submerged in the brine. Close the Ziploc bag, get all the air out as much as possible, and then put a couple bags of ice cubes in there to weight the turkey down and to keep the temp cool while it's outside soaking. Now it needs to go for about 24 hours in this brine, and then we're gonna be ready to cook it. So after the turkey soaked in that brine for 24 hours, I pulled it out and I rinsed it under cool water just to get as much seasoning and stuff off as possible. Then I just let it air dry. I kind of want the skin to dry out a little bit. It's gonna give us a really good look. Now we're ready to get to cooking. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna stuff the cavity. And you can put just about anything you want in here. I've got a couple sweet onions and some apples. It's all I'm using today, it's real simple. And I'm just gonna fill that cavity up. And what this does, it adds a little flavor as the apples and onion cooks, but it really gives us some more mass to kind of make the turkey cook even together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the legs up and we're gonna tie them together with some butcher twine. So I've just pulled off a length of butcher twine. I'm gonna go around one leg, bring it up, around the other. Just tie the twine down tight, and this is gonna hold the legs together as it cooks. It's gonna help those legs and thighs cook even too. It's gonna to hold all our stuffing in place in the cavity. And you can clip off that excess string right before you put it on. Now we're gonna get some more flavor inside this turkey. We're gonna use a Cajun injection. And you can buy a store-bought Cajun butter injection. I've got one here that I just made up. The recipe is real simple. And I've just got it in a cup where we're gonna shake it up. And we're gonna get one of our injectors here and drop the hose down in the injection. Prime this up real good. So I'm gonna start in the legs. We're just sticking it right in the flesh. You wanna give it a good shot. Go down each side of the leg. You can see it filling up that leg. And that's getting all that butter and that hot sauce and all those Cajun flavors down in there. Make sure I get the thighs real good. If you feel a bone, just pull out and go back in. That's good on that side. We're gonna shoot this side up. Now we're going down the breast the same way. It just needs, you know, three or four sticks on each side. Just wanna get that flavor spread out even. Man, it's really blowing it up. And I don't really inject the wings. You could if you want to, but. So now that we've got our turkey brined, tied and injected, we're ready to get our seasoning on the outside. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck these wings back up under it. You can kind of see I'm just taking them and flipping them right back under the head. Kind of looks like it's laying back with his hands behind his neck. It's gonna give a better presentation and your wings won't burn up as bad that way. It makes it easy to season and it's gonna look great on the smoker. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the outside with a little cooking spray. This is gonna kind of be our binder for our seasoning, but it's also gonna help that skin brown up. It's gonna have like a golden color as we get it cooked. Don't be shy with the cooking spray. We'll use this as a base throughout the cook too. Now we're ready for the Cajun rub, and I've kind of taken my AP seasoning and converted it into this rub. I've added some cayenne pepper, some paprika, some fresh herbs, a little white pepper, just other seasons that really make a great Cajun seasoning. And I've just built that on that foundation of that salt, pepper, and garlic. And you just want to get this on the outside of the turkey. You don't have to go real heavy, but you just want a good even coat everywhere. 
that's looking good to me. A little bit more back here on this leg. So now we've got the turkey all seasoned up. We've got that Cajun rub on the outside. We've got that Cajun butter injection in it and it's been in a brine for 24 hours. You know this thing's full of flavor. Let's get it on the pit and let it smoke. So we're gonna be cooking this turkey today on my Yoder smoker. I've got it fired up with some pecan pellets running about 300 degrees. Now you can cook a turkey on just about any kind of smoker. You just wanna keep those temps up so the meat gets done evenly and so the skin's really good. Uh, we're just gonna take the turkey and set it right on our cooking grate. You can see we got a little bit of smoke rolling. Just gonna set it on. We're gonna keep an eye on it because we don't want the skin to get too dark. We'll spray it with cooking spray as it starts browning up. And it's gonna take about three and a half hours for this turkey to cook, but we're really not worried about time. Turkey is one of those things where you've got to watch the internal temperature. I know you've heard me preach it before. We'll put a probe in the breast after a while so we can monitor those temps, but we're gonna be looking for 165 in the white meat and 175 back here in the thighs of legs, that dark meat. Let's get the lid closed. Now we just gotta cook this turkey. All right, our turkey's been smoking here on the Yoder for about an hour. And I'd like to go ahead and look at it. We're still holding steady at 300 degrees, but check it out, man. You hear just sizzling. I mean, that's looking like an awesome Cajun smoked turkey. It's starting to get brown on us, and I want it to do that, but I don't want it to get too dark. So this is where that cooking spray we're gonna use as a base comes in. And this is just a vegetable oil cooking spray in a can. Nothing fancy here, but it's gonna just keep that skin moist gonna kind of crisp it up a little bit as it cooks at 300 degrees. And that's why I like to smoke turkeys a little bit hotter than you would say a pork butt or a brisket. This turkey's looking really good. We'll put a probe in it in about another 45 minutes so we can really watch those internal temperatures. But for right now, let's just get the lid closed back, continue to letting it cook. Now if it, turkey, when you're smoking it, if it ever does start turning too dark on you, you can always hit it with the cooking spray, but you can also lay a piece of foil over the top and we'll watch ours. If it does get dark, I'll just lay a piece of foil. You don't have to wrap it. We're just tinting it to keep it from getting too dark. Let this one keep cooking. We'll put a probe in it here in a little bit. All right, our turkey's been smoking for right at two hours. Now's the time I want to start watching the internal temperature. So I've got my Thermalworks dot alarm ready to go in. I'm just going to stick the probe in the thickest part of the breast before I can watch these internal temperatures. I want to make sure you don't hit bone. We're setting at about 136. We've still got a ways to go. We're just gonna watch these temps. I'm gonna go ahead while I got it open. The skin's looking great. I mean, it's kind of starting to crisp up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little more cooking spray on it. That looks good to me. We're gonna keep letting it roll. Get the lid closed. Now we're just gonna keep the lid closed on the smoker. Hold that temp steady at 300 degrees. And when our alarm goes off, we know that turkey's gonna be ready. Y'all stick around. Okay, the dot's telling me that our turkey has hit internal temperature. It's been right at three hours, 15 minutes, which is about normal. I always like to verify, go ahead and get this probe out. Check this other side of the breast and see where we're at. Oh yeah, look at that, 166, that's perfect. Back here in the thigh, we're looking like 178. That's perfect for the dark meat. That's exactly what I wanna see, so our turkey is done. I mean, this thing looks awesome. Got a beautiful color on the outside. Those Cajun seasonings have really made a nice crust on our skin. The skin's firmed up some. I'm gonna lift it off, wear some gloves. Be real careful, just put it on a platter here. Anytime I do a turkey like this, I'm gonna let it rest for about 20 minutes at least. Wouldn't hurt to go a half hour. Just put some foil over it, let it hang out on the cutting board. We're gonna cut into it in a minute, but check that thing out, isn't it beautiful? All right, I've let this turkey hang out for about 20 minutes and that's all I can take. I'm ready to cut a piece. Before I do, let's talk real quick about what we did. Started with a 14 pound frozen turkey, gave it five days in the refrigerator to slow thaw. Put it in a 24 hour brine, let all those flavors get in there and get happy in the bird. Let it soak all that Cajun seasoning up. Then we hit it with that Creole Cajun butter injection that we made some awesome flavors and it really adds some moisture and a ton more flavor inside the meat. Then we put the spicy Cajun rub on the outside, got it in that pecan smoke and it took just a little over three hours. We kept the outside sprayed with cooking spray so it gives us this beautiful even brown color. And if it got dark, you could have tinted it, ours didn't on the Yoder, but if you're running a cooker, it doesn't matter what you're cooking on, just put a little piece of foil over it to keep it from getting too dark. Hold those temps steady for 300. When it gets to 165 in the breast and 175 in the dark meat, that's when you wanna get it off and let it rest. And then it's ready to carve up and eat. 
I'm gonna get a piece right off the breast. It's probably my favorite piece of the turkey. You can cut it up however you want. I'm not gonna break this one all the way down. I just wanna get some of those seasoning, some of that skin. That's really the best part. Mm. Spicy. You get that seasoning coming through on the outside, but the meat's moist and juicy. Hey, I'll cut another piece because I'm not ashamed. Let's let it fall over a little bit here. Look at all that juice running in that turkey. Gosh, that's good. You can see it down in it, it is done through and through. That is perfect, perfect textbook turkey. I'm gonna take this slice out right here. Woo! And I said I wasn't gonna eat much because we we're gonna serve this for dinner, but I gotta have another bite. Mm, so good. The brine gives so much flavor to that meat. Every bite that you take, even deep down in, has flavor in it. Injection also helps, but it's really a spicy, and it's different than just a regular old smoked turkey. We get the Cajun seasonings in it. All those spices in the rub really play into effect on how this turkey tastes. And that pecan smoke, it's mild, it's just right. That's a winner right there. Hey, a smoked turkey really is the only way to do a bird for Thanksgiving. And this Cajun version is awesome. Y'all give it a try. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel and it'll let you know when we put out new stuff. You can also send those questions to our Facebook and Twitter feeds. We love those. We try to answer all of them. Have a happy holidays and we'll see y'all next time.